They flipped it in. McCarty did get there first, but nowhere to go with it. Reflected in the middle of Dow. Dow with Coffee in front of him. Chambers picks it up. Chambers, the defenseman for Dow. Dow drops it on the far side. Shot. Deflected out deep. Defenseman is down on the ice. And a player hurt. Chambers shot. Burn in the sack. Jim Dow scores! A Detroit Red Wing was down on the ice for all of that. Oh. Paul Coffey blocked the shot, stayed down, and the Devils have a 3-2 lead. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Paul Coffey went down, and the Devils maintained control. What do you do in that situation, Andy Van Helleman? He is not in the finals, but that is the play that Andy Van Helleman had such a problem with and ended up paying for in the series between the New York Rangers and the Quebec Nordiques. It turned out to be a tremendous controversy. The Red Wings coaches jumped up and down in the air as soon as Paul, as soon as the goal went in the net because they realized that Paul Coffey was down and hurt. The referee has the discretion of blowing the whistle if he feels it is a serious injury, serious enough to warrant stoppage of play immediately. If he doesn't feel that, and the opposing team continues in possession of the puck, the play goes on until yeah. the team with the hurt player gains possession. And it was a lower extremity injury, which Terry Grayson may have seen. And that's perhaps why he did not blow it down. It hit him in the back of the leg. Coffey actually was turned backwards to the shooter. Hit him in the back. There's no question he's in a lot of pain. But is it going to be life-threatening? Is it going to threaten his health to lie in pain? That's a tough call. Not saying Terry Gregson made the wrong call. I just knew it would be something that the Detroit Red Wings would argue immediately. Now to the goal. Mike Vernon could not control the rebound. It was a good shot from, I believe, Chambers from the point. Oh, yeah, Paul Coffey realizes now that he's not only in pain, but that the goal has gone in behind him. Jim Dowd stood right there, and Mike Vernon laid the rebound out for him perfectly. 3-2 to two with a minute and 24 seconds to go. Amazing. This is a, It's been a devil's game throughout. This is exactly the position they wanted to be in, and they've got the lead. Dowd gets his first of the series, his second of the playoffs, playing in just as he, not just, he's played 11 games now this year in the playoffs. Chambers and Tommy Abelin the assist at 1836 from Brick, New Jersey. Jimmy Dowd right next to the Meadowlands and may prove to be a game winner. Minute 23, we'll keep an eye on Vernon. A hushed, stilled crowd here in Detroit cannot believe the Devils have waited the entire game before taking the lead, but they've got it right now. Vernon tried to get out, could not. Brought back up to the left by Ralston. Ralston will send it in. The Devils came from behind to tie it up twice. Jim Dowd has given them the lead. One minute left. Vernon's going to the bench. The Devils with a chance to take a 2-0 lead in this series. Kozlov just came on to take Vernon's place and held it in. Empty net at the other end. John McLean tried to flip, couldn't. Kenny Danico just plays it off the boards. Fedorov comes back to get it. 43 seconds remaining here in this third period. Fedorov got it into the zone. Niedermeyer over there, backed it up along the boards. Comes to the blue line, not up. Fedorov couldn't hold it in. Lemieux banked it away. On the near side, Shepard. Shepard guns it in. You're watching the clock tick down. You are hearing the crowd tick down. Intercepted. Richet. This game is history. The New Jersey Devils take a 4-2 lead with 20.9 seconds left in another masterful performance. Never giving up on the discipline that has brought them to the Stanley Cup Finals. And Gary, they, again, never led until a minute and 24 seconds to go in this hockey game. The Detroit Red Wings unable to hold the lead in the third period. Paul Coffey, interestingly enough, came into play in both of the last two Devils goals. Scott Niedemeyer had him iso on a one-on-one, -on -one, and Paul Coffey ended up down in a heap on the ice, hurt when Jim Dowd scored the winning goal. What a turn of events for the Detroit Red Wings, who, for most of this game, Gary, even though it looked like a Devils kind of game, really were in position to win, especially when they led in the third period. Riche puts the empty netter home and sends the crowd in the same direction. Picking it up, Draper. Burn it back in, but it don't matter now. The New Jersey Devils are going to the Meadowlands Thursday night with a 2 0 lead in this series. The empty netter picked up by Riche. Niedermeyer the assist. It came at 1939. But the game winner goes to Jimmy Dowd. His goal at 1836, even strength, has given the Devils 
a game-winning goal and a 2-0 edge in the Stanley Cup final. And they're screaming in Brick, New Jersey, hometown of Jim Dowd, and meanwhile, Sergei Fedorov, who put together really a terrific Stanley Cup final performance. Nothing to show for it except the goal, and he does not care about the goal at this stage of the hockey season. Martin Brodeur continues his magnificent performance in net with that whole defensive unit in front of him. Detroit had only 18 shots again in this game. The Devils held Detroit below the 20 mark, which is now becoming a regularity for the New Jersey Devils to be able to do that. And remember, this is a Detroit team that before the New Jersey series was averaging 36 shots a game in the playoffs. They have had 17 in the first and 18 in the second. No, there's no question about it. The Detroit Red Wings have been forced to play the Devils kind of game. The Devils ended up with 23 shots. The Detroit Red Wings with 18. Just like every other team the Devils have faced in the last two years have had to do, they have had to try to beat the Devils at their own game. Nobody's been able to do that yet this year. John Barry and Mike will be back with more on this game, but it's the final game two. Devils four, Red Wings two.